morning, Florida. Good morning, Orlando. We have a day off here today, and it is supremely sunny. And I, for one, am very, very happy about that, except I can't see anything. I keep having to close my eyes, but it is a glorious day out today. We are parked near stuff. I don't know, I don't know Orlando, but we're near a very big hotel. We're near some really cool places, and I think we are heading to go do some, like, universal stuff. Maybe. I don't know. We're trying to figure it out, and we don't know really how the tickets work. We don't know what it gets us. But all I want to do today, all that's on the top of my bucket list today, is to go to Harry Potter Land and get a water beer. Because I've seen them everywhere. Everyone says they're delicious. I want one. I want to see what it's like. So, we're going to try that. Not right, Chuck. What? We're going to get Harry Potter. What? Butter beer. Butter what? Chuck weird. I'm just going to die. Just hanging out the ground. Kidding. <laughs> no one? Make a move. There's a lizard right there. Can you see him? Right in the middle. Right there. He's not moving. He's a clever boy. I have never seen wild lizards before. Far is blowing my mind already. Arcade. And it's all ours. There's no one else here. Bouncy balls. Look at all those balls. The cold, the frozen one kind of 
the chase has kind of gone out of the book. Very good. Now I know why the pothead loves them. Except he can't go to Hogsmeade. Because his parents didn't sign this form. Which that's bullshit, by the way. Why do the teachers have to be like, Harry, you're an exception. You can go. The guardians aren't going to because they hog sports. Hog sports. Send them home every summer to abusive strip parents. What up with that? Tune in next week for more conspiracy theories on Jack Skeptic Guy. Uh, I'm going to around here. I'm going to around here. I'll show you in a sec. There's the ones behind me. There's the ones over there. They just have to tour. Which I didn't record because I feel like that's the ones in front of me. Universal because the park was closing. We decided we wanted to go back to the Harry Potter light show, which I got some of. Then we went on a roller coaster because the line went from being 60 minutes to down to 15 minutes. So we decided, okay, this is a good opportunity to actually go on one ride because we couldn't go on them on the other time. It was just going to be too long and we would have wasted all our day. And one of the other ones was closed. So we're like, okay, let's go on this one. And then we got that one, the other one opened. So we managed to wait 20 minutes in that instead of 110 minutes, I think the original time was. So we decided to go on two of them, the Harry Potter rides. They were awesome. The Hippogriff roller coaster one, a little lackluster because it lasts literally 30 seconds, if not less. And the waiting around is probably not worth it. But the other one inside the castle was awesome. It straps you in, your feet vanish. Not your feet, but the floor vanishes, one your feet. And then you're looking around and you fly along in the Harry Potter room and Ron is there. And then you get attacked by Dementors and everything. And then there's like puppetry that comes out and actual Dementors come at you as your carrots fly upside down. It was awesome. And then you fight through spiders and something sprays water at you. And you're like, ah, get away, spiders, it's smelly. It was really cool. And then when we were leaving, the park was closing at 10. And it was like 9.50. And we decided, oh, we can go one last ride. So we decided to go on the Hulk roller coaster. And that is by far the coolest thing that's probably in Universal. Because that thing was fucking nuts. You get up, you turn into a Hulk, and it shoots you into the air. And you fly sideways. And then you go upside down. And there's loopy loops and flying around these. And so much fun. I love roller coasters so much. I would have gone on that like 10, 20 times in a row if I was allowed to. I wouldn't have gotten bored at all. It was so much fun. And then we just decided to hang out and have food. Which took her into getting a burgushi. Is that what it's called? Bur- burgushi. I think it was a burgushi. And it was sushi ingredients in the form of a burger. It didn't make any sense, but it, and it looked like somebody blended up a bunch of seafood and threw it onto his plate, but he said it was good, so I'm going to trust his opinion. Um, and then we had a few drinks, and then we just came home. Uh, air conditioner, I'm sorry, I'm trying to vlog. Don't you have any respect? God! So now that we're all showered up, it's time to go to bed. So, this was the coolest day on the tour so far. And I'm so glad we got a rest day on Orlando, and there was another thing we were supposed to do, we were supposed to do this Dragon Ball uh, ramen place called Super Saiyan, I think. And we didn't get a chance to go to that because we left the park late, but I'm really glad that we went to Universal. It cost a shit ton of money to get in and see all the place, but I think 
for what we got out of it, I think it was worth it because it was super, super fun and I had a great time. And I'm going to remember that for a very long time and that was one of the best days off that we've had on any tour that we've done. It was so much fun. And tomorrow we get to go back into Universal again because Hard Rock Cafe is like in it, which is so bizarre. Because we were sitting down eating food and the Hard Rock was in the background and we were just sitting there thinking, man, we're in an amusement park right now, on tour, and the venue we're playing at is right over there and it's sold out. How fucking weird is that? It's so bizarre to me, but it's so cool. Um, so I'm really, really, really excited for this show now tomorrow. I think Orlando might take the cake when it comes to touring cities just because I had Universal in it. <laughs> and I'm going to say it now and I said it on Twitter earlier. I like Universal more than I like Disneyland. I know, I know. Hold on to your hats. It was just way more fun to me. A lot of the places were way more consistent and thematic. And Harry Potter Land was just so, so cool. I think it was better than any theme park thing that I've ever been in. But, okay, it's uh, not like this vlog go on too long. I'm going to end it here. But thanks for hanging out with us today and coming along on the journey and seeing our first Butterbeers. It was a really fun time. And tomorrow we have another show. And then after that, it's a show almost every day, I think. And I think all of them except Philadelphia are sold out. So now we go into overdrive, going into packs. Oh, oh it's going good. Bye! <laughs>